Hello, William Dorrington here, and I quickly want to show you data flows within the Power Platform. So I've gone to the make.powerapps.com experience, and in this example, I've you know been got got a client, maybe a prospect, maybe one that's that's on the go at the moment, and they they've got all their data in Excel spreadsheets at the moment. Now I know that they're going to be updating these spreadsheets every so often, but it's actually the data that I want to start building my apps off of. And I don't want to just keep importing and importing and then matching up and ensuring everything's okay every time they change some of their data. So what I can do is actually ingest it via a data flow. So here we have this spreadsheet. You can see it's just very simple, car make, car model and color. Uh, Bugatti, Veyron, Ferrari, Enzo. I mean, if you're gonna make up data, you might as well have some fun, right? So all I want to do is actually import this and create an entity from it. So I'm gonna to go to data flows. I'm gonna hit new data flow. I'm gonna call this car data flow, nice and simple. So copy that for later. And it's gonna create it's gonna start creating, you know, through the wizard process. I'm gonna say actually I want to create this from an Excel spreadsheet. It's gonna go, okay, well where, where's your file? It's now gonna open up my SharePoint repository, which I'll just bring over here, and down the bottom here you can see I have my car entity. So I'm gonna hit open. Then from that I can select next. It goes off and authenticates it and then starts going, well, do you want to transform this data in a moment? So what I do is select the table that I wish to transform. Uh, you can see the exact same replica of the of the Excel uh, spreadsheet there. I select table one and I select transform data. Now it's saying, you know, you've got Power Query here. Is there anything you would like to do to this? You know, any certain applied steps every time this data is brought in? I go, no, actually, I'm okay with how that is. Then from here, I can start setting up whether I want to load it to an existing entity or to a new entity. So I'm going to say to a new entity, I'm just going to give it that card data flow name. Uh, say delete rows that no longer exist once the query output has done its job and then I'm going to go through this and select the certain field type. So as this is picked up that it's all pretty much text, I'm just going to select text. So the two options I get is text or multi-line text and in the primary name I'm going to make it the car make and then I select next. Nice and easy. Really intuitive step-by-step -step process. Now it's saying hey do you want us to bring, us, bring this data in automatically or would you like just to tell us when to bring it in? I'll go, I'll keep that manual. And I, all I do is simply hit create. So that, what that's doing now is actually building up that entity and it's gonna be bringing that data and it will actually start telling us now. So you see table one, creating the entity. So it's going off, creating that entity within the common data service, all using all that common data model goodness. And then it's gonna start processing uh, the load. So the loading of the actual data, the field mapping, etc. And there we go, it's creating that definition group and it's executing the load. Really fast, very quick, very prompt. And remember, every time we refresh this now, it's gonna keep bringing in that data in the same way and executing that load. So in a moment, it's gonna tell us that it's actually finished and we'll be able to go and see this within the entities of the common data service. So here we go. And that's now completed, so I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna to go to entities. And once that opens up, I'm just gonna search on car data flow. And as we see straight away, it is there. We'll be able to see those fields. So car data flow, we see the primary field we created, the car model, and if we go across the data, we can see the car make there. Of course, I can, I can customize the view if I wanted, but I'm happy here, car make, car model, color, job done. And that's just a really great way to be able to bring in that data, but not only once, but on a repeatable process. You know, there's so much applications here for not only just building these apps, but of course, actually using this for analytics as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful.